so I just wanted to let you know before I start that uh, the ingredients that I use in this uh, recipe are all chosen for their hair and scalp beneficial properties. Um, they all contain vitamins like you know vitamins A and E and uh, they're all antioxidants and anti-inflammatory and they protect against uh, chemicals that you might be exposed to like chlorine from a pool or even the water that you wash your hair with and like excessive salt if you go swimming in the beach um, swimming in the ocean at the beach that is to say and uh, they stimulate hair growth uh, the beeswax and the calendula in particular stimulate hair growth and they protect against uh, dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis, and uh, alopecia. Alopecia uh, is um, when you start losing patches of hair on your scalp, just big patches. And I can attest to the fact that that, that did work for me. I used to have a, kind of a balding spot on the top of my head. Uh, very thin hair and uh, my hair has actually fallen out all over and I cut it all off. If you watch my first video, I was in bad shape. I mean every time I look at that video I think, my goodness, I think I have come a long way. Uh, my voice was very low. As you may know, I um, had surgery to remove uh, parathyroid glands from my underneath the thyroid on my neck. And so anyway, during the surgery, uh, my, my vocal cords were damaged. That's why I speak with this kind of voice. And, um, and also sometimes it makes me want to clear my throat a lot and cough. So anyway, so just so you know, because in future videos you will see that. And of course, videos before this. Um, in any case, so the ingredients, uh, coconut oil, shea butter, uh, beeswax and calendula are all good for they're all good for the scalp and you know my hair is manageable it's uh I don't want to say it's tangle free but I have very few tangles and I have very little hair that comes out at the end of my you know braiding my hair just a very small amount of hair you know maybe no more than a quarter um and uh anyway I hope you make this uh, pomade because it's very good for your hair and uh, you will definitely enjoy the benefits of using it. Today is December 21st and I'm still trying to make a few last minute gifts. So today I'm going to make some hair pomade. <coughs> some um, and I'm going to put some calendula petals into this um, this bunch of uh, coconut oil. I don't know how much that is. It's probably about a pound, more or less. Um, I'm just going to throw a bunch of calendula petals in there. I don't know. Let's say this is about a quarter cup. <coughs> and I'm just going to melt it. Melt the uh, coconut oil. Oops, wrong burner. Melt the coconut oil and allow it to uh, allow the calendula petals to steep and to absorb some of that goodness. Calendula petals are good for skin in general, and so therefore they're going to be good for the scalp. They're going to be good for uh, helping you know the scalp to regenerate itself if it's damaged, you know, with uh, any kind of uh, hair treatments that backfire on you or whatever. Um, <clears throat> my hair is not, I haven't really uh, done a lot of abuse to my hair in a long time, but um, I like to use the calendula. The last time I made this pomade, I actually used dandelion. And that was really nice for my scalp, but I don't have, you know, it's December, so 
there aren't too many dandelions flowering right now, if any. So anyway, um, that's why I'm doing the calendula. It's about the same. <clears throat> Both of uh, the two flowers are about the same in um, what they do. Well, there it is. It's all melted. I shut off the fire. And I'm going to let this steep for about half an hour or so, more or less. And then I'm going to strain out the uh, petals. set so really lovely um i use this hair this uh pomade on in my hair every time i wash my hair and uh and then i braid it up and then my hair is so soft and manageable so anyway now is not a good example <laughs> Because I guess I washed my hair a couple days ago. It's already drying out, so I... Anyway, I made this pomade because I ran out. And I thought, oh, I can make some more for myself. And I can also make some for other people. So, anyway. I hope you try this. Thanks for watching. Ready to go? Hopefully the recipients will enjoy them.